Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Now this week's video is a continuation of last week's video, which I wasn't even planning on doing. I was just going to have one like WandaVision theories video and then like maybe another one once the show ended. But holy moly, episode five came out the next day and now I feel like we need to talk all over again. So I don't know, maybe I'll do <laughs> more of these after the episodes come out if they're as exciting as episode five was. So this is your warning now, episode 5, spoilers ahead, so if you haven't watched it, don't watch this video because you're just going to ruin the episode for yourself. So this isn't, um, they're, okay, these are sort of new theories, but they're more of, like, changing what I already thought. So I'm going to start with, like, the smallest one and then, like, get to, like, the one I have a lot more information for. Okay, so for this first one here that Agnes knows what's happening and almost has like a hand in like controlling it. So what everyone is being made out to believe is that Wanda's the one fully in charge and even I th said that last week because I thought she was the one fully in charge. But obviously now as we have seen episode 5 I'm starting to think not so anymore. Like that's not right anymore. But what I didn't talk about last week was Agnes, her neighbor. Now, okay, we, she talks about Ralph, her husband, who we haven't seen Ralph yet. Who the heck is Ralph? Is it just a side character that's not a real character that she just brings up once an episode or something like that? Who knows? So I've seen theories of people saying that Ralph is Mephisto, but I still don't like personally agree with that one yet. I just need a little more. I need more of to go on for that one more evidence to like sway me in that direction and if you see me looking down it's because I wrote these all down on my laptop <laughs> which is in my lap just like with notebooks and things okay so here's my theory about Agnes and I haven't seen a lot of people like mention this I don't think I've seen anybody say this at all and I don't think Agnes is like helping Mephisto in any way I think she knows who Mephisto is and is trying to protect Wanda from him like, clearly she knows what's going on and is just, like, going along with it. Like, in episode 5, when Vision, like, went off script and she turned to Wanda and was like, do you want me to take it from the top? I think she knows what's happening, but is, like, fine with it in the sense that she's, like, protecting Wanda from, like, the bigger evil that is out there. So that, that's my two cents, and I haven't seen anybody say that. Everyone I see, every single theory I've seen about Agnes is that Agnes is a bad guy, and I... I am not swayed to that yet. And I don't have any theories about Ralph. I was just saying what I've heard other people say, but I, I have nothing for him to go on. I, I'm just not buying anything for him yet. I, I think that, well, I think that Agnes is here to help. I don't think she's a bad guy, although if she is a bad guy, that'd be so cool. Anyway, so that's my Agnes theory. Okay, time for the next one. We're going to talk about Evan Peters and ding, 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 like spoiler if you haven't seen episode five yet, like don't watch because I've already just spoiled it for you. But Evan Peters is in this episode, as we know, as Quicksilver, which if you've seen like any movie at all, that is not who played Quicksilver in Age of Ultron or Captain America the Winter Soldier. Like it, that's not him. Evan Peters was Fox, Fox's X-Men version of Quicksilver. And I almost, I have so many thoughts about Evan Peters being in this because like, I think this is confirming of the multiverse, which we knew it was coming because of Dr. Strange, the multiverse of madness, but how the town like subconsciously made Wanda like create her children. And then her boys were like asking her if she had a brother and so it was the end of this episode her like subconsciously bringing Pietro back although of course since her brother was dead she brought a Pietro back from a different universe I think that's one way we could go about it about Evan Peters being here and Pietro but like I'm not sure if I am on board with that one because that one to me is like the most logical one like that makes the most sense but then I almost want to believe this far out theory Evan Peters Pietro is actually Mephisto and that's one I want to believe but just because it's so like bonkers but I think 
like I again like Ralph I need more evidence to believe any theory about him I need more evidence to believe that one I think I just really want to believe that one so I am and then I've seen a lot of people like really like digging into the details about Evan Peters being there and people were zooming in on the mirror that's behind them when he like is in the doorway and his hand like almost looks like red like like the devil is red so is it him and then I'm also like I I just watched this episode that episode like before filming this and I paused it on that and I'm like it didn't really look really that red to me it just looked like a like if you took my hand and then blurred it because I'm 20 feet away from a mirror like like, see, like, my fingertips are, like, red to, like, my palm. So that's why I'm, like, eh. do I believe that one? No, but I really want to. Oh, 